Most of you already know me. My name is Brian Jack Holder, and I'm running in the Republican primary for the 3rd Congressional District along with David Young. So uh, basically, I'm here. I've said this a year ago. I'm here to fight the tyranny, and I'm here to stand up for our liberty. And uh, I'd like to read to you from the preamble of the National Republican Party. These are beautiful words, and I believe every one of them. Be it resolved that the Republican Party is the party of the open door. <laughs> Ours is the party of liberty, the party of equality, of opportunity for all, and favoritism for none. It is the intent and purpose of these rules to encourage and allow the broadest possible participation of all voters in Republican Party activities at all levels, and to assure that the Republican Party is open and accessible to all Americans. Now, there may be some in this room that object to my presence here. Some may object to my speech and my opinions. Let me assure you, you have nothing to fear from me. Like you, I am nothing less than a concerned citizen. As Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis so eloquently wrote, the most important political office is that of the private citizen. Those in power have always feared free speech and social change. 100 years ago, communists were prosecuted for their beliefs. Today, constitutionalists are persecuted for their beliefs. Citizen journalists like myself are threatened with arrest and prosecution. This must not be allowed to continue, or every other liberty that we hold dear will be lost. Justice Brandeis also wrote a concurring opinion in 1927 in the Whitney versus California case, where he affirmed the conviction of a communist agitator. But he wrote some beautiful words about liberty of speech. He said, quote, those who won our independence believed that the final end of the state was to make men free to develop their faculties, and that in its government the deliberative forces should prevail over the arbitrary. They believed liberty to be the secret of happiness and courage to be the secret of liberty. They believed that freedom to think as you will and to speak as you think are means indispensable to the discovery of political truth. This current government has lost the consent of the governed, in my opinion. The social contract was unilaterally breached generations ago by the ruling kleptocratic oligarchy. Paul Revere is not here, but I am here and you are too. And I'm asking you to help me spread the message of liberty. At this point, only free speech can restore our constitutional republic. I leave you with this poem written by a famous American poet, teacher, lawyer, ambassador, abolitionist, and Republican, James Russell Lowell. It is entitled, We Will Speak Out. We will speak out, we will be heard. Though all Earth's systems crack, we will not bait a single word, nor take a letter back. We will speak the truth, and what care we? for hissing and for scorn, while some fake gleamings we can see of freedom's coming morn. Let liars fear, let cowards shrink, let traitors turn away. Whatever we have dared to think, that dare we also say. Thank you.